Good morning. <laughs> oh my god, today. So last night I fell asleep and I guess I like didn't finish like I didn't set up an alarm for my phone. My phone completely died. It was not on the charger. So I just had a morning. I woke up an hour later than I wanted to. I haven't had breakfast. I'm like sipping on coffee. Probably get a bagel. Um, when I'm closer to my townhouse, but we are getting our keys today. So I am driving over with a bunch of stuff in my mom's minivan, um, so that I can like move it once I get there. <sighs> Not excited for this. Um, Julia, who's going to be my roommate, um, also slept in accidentally. So we're just like all types of all over the place. So I'm gonna drive and my phone's dying and I realized I don't have a USB in this car to charge it on. So we're, we're doing okay. <laughs> I hate myself. I literally just lost the keys inside the house as well. And I put them down on my makeup bag. Like it just nothing makes sense to me. Like how, how do I function? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome to the empty apartment tour. I am currently sitting here dying. You can tell I'm like completely red, but I wanted to show you guys because we're kind of in the process of bringing things in. So I wanted to show you before it gets full. Um, this is the third bedroom I've painted. The same color? Yep, exactly. Welcome to another moving vlog. Um, today is Thank you. <laughs> Today is the second day of the moving process. So, so far, this is what we got going on. And the bathroom. I have two little things there. Um, what are they called? Carpets. I am so tired. Carrying everything up to the third floor is quite the workout. And these stairs are very, very long. So far, we brought everything inside from the car. Brought everything up here. Had a little mishap of a broken makeup case. Show you that in a second. I just tried to lift this up and carry it up to my room and look it cracked. I've never had a makeup case crack and the handle thing broke. Oh my God. So I have basically all my beauty and makeup things and because I'm combining this space to be my bedroom and like my office kind of, um, I need to get creative with how I organize and how I put everything together. So you have to go to the container store, I think, but I still haven't made any like measurements or anything. I need a shower head. I need some organizers for the drawers, I think, in there. Um, I, I just need a lot of things that like I'm not thinking of right now, but mostly I want to put all the beauty stuff away just so that it's out of here and there's space for the movers in like three days to bring in all of the furniture katie is currently <laughs> figuring out how to fit the furniture in the room because she's likes puzzles yes i like can't even think i might need another cup of coffee but i really don't want to organize my makeup right now but it feels like that's gonna be what i'm gonna have to do today i brought some of my clothes over i might have to bring more of it over it's in there I don't know how I'm going to do my closet. Like, I really, like, I just, I have no answers right now. And usually that's really unlike me because typically I already have a plan and I'm already doing things. But I, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's all. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Yeah. I'm very confused and very tired. Moving is quite the process. I feel like I've been moving so much stuff and, like, so far, like, look at, look at what's in here. It just doesn't feel like there's a lot. <laughs> there's like makeup products and like yeah not even my clothes none of my purses none of my shoes and then none of my decor really i think i might have like one box of decor and some candles those little boxes are candles so yeah and then the other thing is i'm like really unclear i'll give you guys a little process update so i don't know if i'm going to keep this table in here it seems really large I do prefer to work on this table as opposed to my smaller table just because I feel like I can really like spread out everything I have and like just plan everything and I don't know if that's the move here because I feel like it takes up a really big chunk of the room. Katie would agree. Yes, actually. 
she would. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's staying here, but then we have obviously this broken thing that's going to have to go. I can't really, it's like completely broken there, shattered. Um, we have this stuff with just product, candles, candles, and then skincare, bunch of hangers. And then this is the bigger closet, so um, very nice size. But it's a little confusing for me because the wall is a little bit slanted, so this shelf space up here that you think like you have shelf space, um, you can't really put anything in there, maybe like a shoe. <laughs> I, I don't know so if you guys have any ideas on how to get creative with like organizing that please let me know up here I think I can like do something I have some bins um, at home but I don't I don't know if they're gonna fit here I'm really confused on how to organize that I was thinking of possibly putting my dresser in here but then I'm thinking that it might be awkward because I'm gonna hang the TV up here and if there's nothing under the TV it's kind of awkward I don't know. I, I just have so many questions and so many unanswered things. And Katie is trying to solve that right now. Um, so yeah, that's that's the dilemma. All I know is I'm probably going to put my bed right there with like a nightstand over there. Not sure what's going to go here. <sighs> Nothing. I have no answers. And then I brought some of my clothes over. And I'm not sure if I'm going to keep like the backup beauty stuff over here. It might be more convenient to actually let th things like hang over there and bring that like over here, but I haven't decided. There's also makeup in here, but usually I had like hair products in here. I really just put these in just so that I can bring them over here, kind of a moving process thing. But I think I'm going to keep like socks in there or like workout clothes or something. I'm not sure. And then for the bathroom, I'm really excited that I actually have a lot of storage space in here. So, first of all, the ceilings are huge, which is fabulous, and this mirror is beautiful. I need to go change the lights here. Oh, I didn't realize there's like a little crack up there. That's kind of odd and weird. Um, I need to change the light bulbs. They're like a little yellow, and I'd prefer to be more like white light. But I wanted to have a skincare shelf, and I was thinking of putting it there. But I'm now looking, and I feel like this might be like a really great place to just put a bunch of shelving. And that's where will be like my go-to daily skincare maybe i'm not sure i know that i want the counter pretty empty i might have just like a little bit like of a like a little box with like soaps and lotions and that kind of stuff over there i'm gonna have probably like bins like this i'll have towels maybe up top and then underneath it will be a bunch of like products um i want to just have like hair products probably I think I need one of these, but just a little bit bigger. I think this is from the container store, so I have to see how many of those will fit in here because that'll be really convenient to just have the hair products like that. I got these from TJ Maxx not too long ago. I really like them, but I wish that one was a little bit bigger because I feel like it's a little bit awkward space right there, but whatever, you win some, you lose some. I need to get a shower curtain. Um, I don't have one of those. And I also need to switch this out. Um, in my bathroom right now, I currently have one that's like removable as well so oh i didn't know this was moen anyways um i i just like need to wash out my hair with like the shampoo and i need one of these like that remove and also the removable one is more convenient to wash your shower i don't know if you guys like wash your own showers but <laughs> if you ever like get bleach on the floor it's so much easier when you have like a removable shower head just to get everything down I also feel like I have a good amount of space right here that I can put something if I wanted to, maybe some sort of shelf, and I can hang something here. I'm not sure yet, again, like unclear what I want to do, but I know that I want to make it cute, but also want to make sure that things kind of look right so that I am taking advantage of the space I have. That actually might fit there too. Hmm. We'll have to see. I don't know. I don't know yet. But these are kind of convenient. I'm probably gonna keep these for contacts and like my daily things like dental stuff. Then these are a little deeper, so I think I might keep like curling irons or curling wands in here and like maybe a blow dryer. I'm not sure if you have any ideas or explanations of things that I should put into these. And then over here, what is this? That looks weird. Oh, that's like a scratch. They tried to... 
Hmm. They tried to fix that. That's weird. So I ended up putting these in here and I think that that's how I'm going to organize a good amount of stuff. Not sure what yet. Um, I might put these in here as well and then like bottles will be back there so you can't really see them and then maybe over here. Um, I think I'll keep like pads and tampons and stuff like that and these maybe some like pedicure manicure things. I don't know. Nail polishes. Stuff that I would use in my bathroom. Wow, this is also cracking. What the heck happened in this bathroom? Like, who lived here? Like, what's, what is going on here? Yeah, I know. Or are you, like, looking, trying to create? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Wait, the vanity fits next to the bed? Wait, that's... It it's like eight inches long. Hmm. It's actually kind of nice to have, like, the vanity like that. Hmm, you're giving me ideas. Very interesting. What if we switch the side of the vanity and the... In the nightstand. This is what she's been doing. She loves puzzles. It's convenient. Okay, well, we have to get back to figuring out what the heck I'm doing here. Wish me luck. Hi, you are in my new kitchen. It's a little bit later. Um, I'm really bad at like vlogging throughout the day, it seems, but today we did a good amount in the bedroom and bathroom and closet so i'm going to show you that now right now i'm downstairs in our kitchen i need to refill my water i freaking love this cup i got it from tj maxx um so we have an ice machine which i'm so thankful for i'm going to fill up my water go back upstairs um i just forgot you guys in the car but after doing a bunch in my room i headed over to container store to get new containers which I'm gonna actually fill right now so you'll come with me and you'll see those and I also got some like drawer organizers and that itself was so expensive like my goodness like baskets are freaking $30 a pop like are you kidding me but hopefully I use them long term and they seem to be better quality than the initial ones I wanted that were $14 each it's just so painful paying money for an organization tool but I have to like just get over it <laughs> um, and then I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I got myself a new laundry basket which I wanted to have one that I could sort as I go so that um, I don't have to make laundry this big thing um, I've been reading Atomic Habits and it's really been an impact on thinking of how I like create systems in order to do things to make things easier for myself so if I want to make something happen simpler, like for example, just doing one load of laundry a day, I need to already have that laundry pre-sorted and not like messy all over my room because it's nice for me to be able to feel like my space is clean and neat. And I think you guys know from all my cleaning videos how much um, I really struggled in my parents' house. And I just already feel like a new energy here. Like this space is just so my vibe. It is just, it's everything I wanted um, and more. And I'm just so excited to be living with my best friend and like, just like hosting my friends here and just being able to like, you know, live my best life. Um, sorry, I just noticed that the sink was like dripping some water and I didn't want it to waste. So yes, need to show you all that. Um, I got the laundry basket, a new shower head because I wanted one that kind of reaches down and a clear shower curtain because I couldn't remember what color my um, bath mats were that I bought at like TJ Maxx a while ago. So I decided to just get the clear shower like thing and I'll figure out what actual shower curtain I want later because I didn't want to buy something that I have to return it. That's just too much work. So yes, the job now is to refill our water. Something that I'm going to have to get used to in this house is not having a water filter built into the water system. 
Um, I don't know if I can drink water out of this fridge, but I have to like just test it. So currently we're using water bottles, um, but we might get a Brita and stuff like that because obviously, I mean, I'm really into using reusable um, things and I would hate, oh my gosh, my ice froze. <laughs> I love these containers. They're so, so good. The ice like literally stays until the next day. They're like vacuum sealed. It's so fantastic. All right, so, so far we got the fridge over here. Literally, we have nothing. Um, we have a margarita mixer that I brought over from my parents' house. I think Julie has a protein shake and some water. My mom brought these um, smoothies, yogurt things for my sisters. I have three water bottles that I brought from my parents' house a gallon thing of iced tea from chick-fil-a because i ordered this when we ordered chick-fil-a i brought barbecue sauce and caesar dressing from my parents house my sister brought me my favorite chocolate bar and then all of this ketchup came with my chick-fil-a order dude even more than that like double that came and i don't i don't really know why it's that was too much we also did the pantry over here which is really cute but it's definitely missed like it's not organized like we still have that that has to be put in here that's a problem for a different day but for the kitchen for the most part i think i'm going to keep this right here as all of our cleaning supplies we have a fire extinguisher here and all that good stuff so that's the game plan there here we have like things that we would reach for if we have guests over in the deep and some mixing bowls some cookie cutters and then cutting boards here we have all of our foil plastic wrap that kind of stuff then here i want to keep my pans just have only one so far but that'll be a good place for those i have my pots that i still haven't washed and they still have the tags on them because we haven't done any cooking yet and these are julia's um for obviously cooking but I just threw them in there because they didn't fit anywhere else. This my little sister organized. It's our tea and coffee drawer. How satisfying is that? Um, I don't know if this is going to stay this way. But for now, it is beautiful and just what we need. This is where I think we're going to keep the coffee and tea machine. I don't know if this is too much right here <laughs> together. Um, but yeah, that's Julia's Lazy Susan. So might as well, I guess, keep this here. I'll make it easier to just... Um, replace water and stuff as needed over here I think we're gonna do like a medicine cabinet I haven't really filled that in yet these are our plates and then a crock pot and an ice cream maker this is where our clear glass is and our little mug set so I brought my mugs over here my mason jar wide cups or whatever you want to call them and I brought my wine glasses and Julia brought her wine glasses her margarita glasses all of these are hers so fantastic up here I decided to keep out of season items so we have our fall stuff all over here Christmas stuff over there and then like some wine decanters and such up there that like aren't for daily use over here um, it's still kind of a work in progress I don't know if you guys can tell, but that shelf is like dipped a little bit. So we're trying to see if we can get a replacement for that one. But here is like our current coffee mug selection and then some little containers for like um, healthy shots. We have some coffee things, some juice bottles and some mason jars and then cold brew coffee makers, some tea pots, um, just all the good stuff. And then Julia brought her cuisine art sorry this is from my clothing <laughs> I just put it up here it's like clean I just need to remember to take that home um, this is her air fryer so it's like super fancy hopefully we'll be able to use it did she not clean that does that need to be cleaned oh my god I need to clean that okay that needs to be cleaned um, and here I put Julia's pots and pans um, they are kind of just on a lazy Susan she has more than I do um, from just like you know existing and living on her own so i decided to just put them all in here for her i kind of organized the kitchen um while she was painting her room so these are hers here 
and it's kind of annoying they have to make sure it's like both on an angle before you close then in here these are mostly julia's um, i don't think anything in here is really mine oh this is mine this measuring cup but i put all of the utensils and stuff for cooking in here i put any of the machines that we'd need there is some bigger mixing bowls over there but like there's a mixer um, a can opener the blender the toaster panini press um, i think there's just like a hot plate there and then over here i'm going to put my ninja um, blender over here i'm going i mean i want to show you my sister organized this it's the tupperware look how nice that looks she organized all that for me katie you're the bomb and then over here julia put this together really quick and it's just the utensils that's kind of overflowing we'll have to deal with that later but that's our kitchen tour for the time being. And then I have these olive oils out because I'm planning on getting these. That's pretty loud, that's the AC. <laughs> but I'm planning on, I already ordered on Amazon, these cute little, um, they're for like the bar cart, I guess, bitters that, uh, the bottles are these like vintage, really cute ones. So I thought I'd like put the oils in there. So let's grab my ice cold water and head upstairs that has to be broken down this has to be broken down this has to be broken down this is still julia's and that like right there in that corner those two boxes are for our non-existent bar cart so far so fabulous i need to take my shoes off we take our shoes off for the second floor the first floor currently isn't clean julia i'm vlogging you what? Music. You just you can just wave. <laughs> Room's so dark. Okay, then we walk up the stairs. Oh, I forgot I have to take this upstairs. Okay, let's grab the bag with my one free hand. As we go upstairs, I'm basically living in the attic. <laughs> it's like the master bedroom though, which is awesome that I got it. It's really hot up here though. Okay, let me go grab the other stuff. I'm kind of out of breath. <laughs> okay, so this is in my closet. We're kind of figuring out what to do here. So far, this is how much clothes I have. I don't think I have that much more to put in here. Whew. Wait, I need to catch my breath. I'm really out of breath. There's a lot of stairs to get up here. Um, but what was I gonna say? I don't typically have a lot of hanger space. So a lot of my clothes has always been in dressers and I think I can make an adjustment to not need both of my dressers, but it's still not clear to me whether or not that's gonna be possible. So figuring that out, as for the bathroom, this is what we got today at the container store. Um, I think they're pretty cute. The only thing is there are like, I don't know if I would call them like dings, but like, can you tell that like the paint on the edges like comes off like over here? And it's like throughout in different spots. So I hope that that doesn't happen, but if it does, I'll just return it and be like, ma'am, what the heck? So I only got seven of these, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this one like this or I'm going to keep it to the side and like layer towels here. Like I really don't know what I'm going to do. And then I only have one of the big ones that are square because the other one was like odd. It ended up looking like a completely different color, so... I don't know I don't know initially I wanted this color but I thought about the bathroom and I'm like this doesn't like match amazingly and the floor like the tile I don't know this just felt like it matched better so that's what we're doing that's what we're doing um, I also got these little containers and I think they're gonna be really nice I already put my contacts in there I already organized this a little bit I just threw in all of my <laughs> tools. And then here are my hair dryers and a curling iron. Here we also got more of an organization going. So 
that was a whole progress this morning. <sighs> I am just... All right, so this is like a mini Bed Bath & Beyond um, haul. Oh, I need to go get the laundry thing. It's like over there on the wall. But the shower head I got was this Magnetics Engage Chrome Finish. It wasn't like the ideal one I'd want. The one that I have at home isn't magnetic, but it seems like Moen, Moen, I don't know how to say this brand, um, transitioned to a lot of like magnetic technology. So instead of like having to put the smaller head into your shower like stand or something it just magnetizes which i guess in theory is better but i read some reviews and people saying that like it just randomly falls on you um if like you touch like the i don't know what it would be called the not the wire like the tube i don't know but i'm just hoping that this doesn't like hit my head while i'm showering i don't need any concussions like i really don't so I'm excited to have this um, installed. I'm probably gonna have my dad do it tomorrow because it's Saturday tomorrow and he will be available. Then this is a shower curtain liner and turns out the height and the size of my shower is considered stall size, which I didn't know that was a size. I don't, I don't really know, but I couldn't find any clear ones, so I had to get a white one. Um, and I didn't buy any shower curtain circle things, rings, because my dad said he had some in the garage that he could give me, so I need to remember to bring those over as well. And let me get the laundry basket thing. So this is what the laundry sorter looks like. It seems like it's pretty big. They only had this one at... Um, my bed bath and beyond so i didn't really have a choice it was only 29.99 though because i think the other ones i looked at were a little bit more expensive so i'm totally fine with this one maybe i'll try to open it now to see just how large it is i'm assuming it's this large but unclear i don't have scissors up here but i do have a pocket knife please hold i have a separate air conditioning unit in here which is nice so in case i feel like it's too hot I can turn it on because it is warmer here than it is downstairs I'm just noticing that like when you go up and down these stairs and when you're like moving around doing things you just get like hotter quicker you know all right I open this No tools needed, so we might be able to build this now. Okay, so there's four rods that are like that. Some wheels. Some more rods, a little shorter. Some connection things. The wire holders, and then there should be fabric. More connectors. More. Where's the actual laundry basket? Hello? Here they are. Okay. There's no instructions on the box. Okay. Let's see how big this is. Okay, that's pretty big. I think that is a really nice size for like just darks, just lights, just colors or delicates, I think that's a pretty good size. 